Hello everyone, welcome back to Car Fix. Today we're doing things a bit differently. I'm sat in front of my PC and I'm going to go through five ways to reset your BIOS and get your computer back booted, especially if you try to update the BIOS on your motherboard and you get stuck in a boot loop or stuck on a frozen post screen like what I have here. This, just to an explanation to my scenario, I've got a gigabyte. 350B gaming, which I try to update the BIOS from I think version F20 to F31. The BIOS went through 100% fine, followed the steps on the Gigabyte website. So here is the Gigabyte website. If you want to update your BIOS, you go to support. It's the same for any motherboard manufacturer. Click the BIOS, as you can see here, the newest version is version 50 now. This has got red text here saying, to go from 25, you need to update these first. You see the red text is telling you what to do. So I did this. Flash the BIOS. Seemed to go fine. Try to boot. Dead screen. So I'll go through five ways of resetting the BIOS. And number one is to take the battery out. So if you open up your case, you'll have a little battery like this. You can flick the battery out, leave it for at least 10 minutes. It should reset your BIOS. And when you put your computer back on, voila, you can boot back into BIOS and reset your PC up. That's the easiest way to do it. Number two is these jumper pins here my board the gigabyte board that i have has two pins you can basically short these pins out some motherboards come with little jumpers that you can put across there which will do it or you can do it with a screwdriver tweezers if you hold it on there for a few seconds it should clear the bios as you can see on this image here there's a three pin one two three and a jumper so what you do is move it from these two onto these two, leave it for a few seconds. It will reset the BIOS if the battery doesn't do it or vice versa. The third way, if you've got a more high end board like this one here, this MSI board, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can see down here, there's some switches. The higher end boards may have a button for you to reset your BIOS um, instead of having to jump it or take the battery out. I guess it's one of the extra perks you get for spending more money on a motherboard. My board doesn't have this. Um, and am I on number four? I can't even count. I believe I'm on number four. And what got my board working because none of these previous ways would make it work i went through removing the graphics card removing the ram to see if there's a fault in hardware nothing worked after much trawling the internet i realized tip four i don't have a picture for this one because there's not a lot there isn't a picture for it you need to boot into your backup or second bios on the motherboard and for my gigabyte board, to do this, there's two ways that usually work for most boards. One is press the power button, let it boot to the post screen and hold the power button until your computer turns off again. Leave it 10 seconds, try and reboot. It might boot you into the second BIOS. What worked for me and what seems to work from what I've gathered on the internet for most gigabyte boards is press and hold power and reset on your case at the same time for around 10 seconds. Let go, the screen will go black for maybe 10 seconds or so and it should come back on and boot you into your BIOS where you can reset your drive up, your boot drive and whatever other settings you want to set up and your computer will boot and obviously here you can see i'm moving around my computer that's exactly what happened to me 
I bought a new graphics card to test because it was stuck on the VGA light on the board. I had just bought an MSI Gaming 2070 and the board was saying it was a VGA issue. I almost cried when I thought my graphics card had died. But it proves that sometimes what the board is saying is not where it's the actual fault is. The fault, it must have corrupted the BIOS on the first BIOS. I had to boot into the backup BIOS to get my computer to work again. So yeah, it's just a quick little video to tell you those few ways of getting your computer to boot back into Windows if you're stuck on a post screen or a boot loop. And with that, I'll leave the video right here. Like, favourite, subscribe and all that good stuff. And peace out.